Hello, little readers. Today we're going to read Little Red Riding Hood. Once upon a time, by the edge of a great forest, there lived a little girl whose grandmother loved her so much that she made her a pretty red cape with a hood. The little girl wore it every day, and soon everyone called her Little Red Riding Hood. One morning, Little Red Riding Hood watched her mother putting bread and honey in a basket. Mommy, why are you doing that? she asked. Your grandmother is sick, her mother said. Bread and honey will cheer her up. Why? asked Little Red Riding Hood. Because you're going to take it to her. Now here's the basket. Take the path through the forest. Don't dawdle and don't talk to strangers. I won't, promised Little Red Riding Hood. And she set off. There was a wolf dozing behind a tree. As Little Red Riding Hood turned to call goodbye, the sound of her voice woke the wolf. Hello, he said to himself. What's this? And stepped out. Excuse me, he asked. Who are you? I'm Little Red Riding Hood. Who are you? Now the wolf was puzzled that this little girl wasn't afraid of him. Me, he asked. Well, uh, I, I'm a wolf. What's that, she asked. Oh, said the wolf, it doesn't matter what I am. What matters is where you are going. Little Red Riding Hood looked at the wolf. I'm going to my grandmother's, she said. Grandmother? asked the wolf. Mmm, grandmothers are very nice. I know, she said. Mine made me this cape. The wolf smiled. Well, I didn't mean in that way. Where exactly is your grandmother's house? That way, pointed Little Red Riding Hood. Far? the wolf asked. No, Little Red Riding Hood said. I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, she added. No, absolutely not, the wolf said. So why don't we say goodbye now? You stay here a while and pick some flowers, and I'll go ahead. This way. All right, said Little Red Riding Hood. Goodbye, the wolf said. Pick a nice bunch for your grandmother. While Little Red Riding Hood picked flowers, the wolf tiptoed down the path. As soon as he was around a corner, he ran like a streak to the house of Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother, bounded up to her door and knocked. Who is it? The grandmother asked. It's Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma, the wolf called, imitating the little girl's voice. Really? You don't sound yourself, said the grandmother. Oh, I'm fine, the wolf replied. Can I come in? The grandmother said, Yes, the door is open. And the wolf came in. The grandmother asked, Didn't your mother tell you I have a cold? I'm staying in bed today. And, oh, you're not Little Red Riding Hood. The wolf growled. No, I'm a wolf and I'm hungry. Well, the grandmother cried, You won't have me for lunch. And she popped out of bed, jumped into a cupboard, and slammed the door behind her. The wolf was startled, but not for long. 
Maybe the grandmother had gotten away, but Little Red Riding Hood would be along any minute. He put on one of the grandmother's nightgowns and caps, hopped into bed, and pulled the cover up to his chin. Then he waited. Soon there was a knock at the door. Who is it? The wolf asked, imitating the grandmother. The little girl called. It's Little Red Riding Hood, Grandma. Do come in, the wolf said, and Little Red Riding Hood came in. Grandma, she asked. In here, my dear, said the wolf. I know I sound awful. It's my cold. Come closer. Oh, Grandma, the little girl gasped. What? asked the wolf. Grandma, what big ears you have, she said. The wolf said, the better to hear you with, my dear. And Grandma, what big eyes you have, she said. The wolf said, the better to see you with, my dear. And, and Grandma, what big teeth you have, she cried. The better, my dear, to eat you with, the wolf shouted. The wolf leaped out of bed, but Little Red Riding Hood was too quick for him. She dashed into the cupboard and slammed the door. Grandma, why are you here? She whispered. Same as you, her grandmother said. That wolf wants to make a meal of us. Don't worry, we're safe here. The wolf had had a hard day and no lunch. He crawled back into bed and soon he was sound asleep, snoring loudly. An hour later, a woodcutter was passing by. He stopped and listened, thinking he never heard the grandmother snore before. He tiptoed to the window and peered in. There, instead of Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother, was the wolf he'd been hunting for years. The woodcutter burst through the door, swinging his axe at the wolf, and shouted, Where is Little Red Riding Hood's grandmother? Hey, she's fine, she's fine, she's, she's, the wolf mumbled. From the cupboard, the grandmother called. We're in here. Get that creature out of my house. The woodcutter announced, Never fear, madame. I will rescue you. The wolf muttered, He has come, meaning I am going. Then he leaped out the window and took off through the woods. Madam, you may come out. The wolf has gone the woodcutter said. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother stepped out of the cupboard. Thank heaven you came, the grandmother told the woodcutter. Madam, it was my duty, he replied. Little Red Riding Hood asked, Can we eat now? Her grandmother laughed. Of course we can. What did you bring in your basket? Little Red Riding Hood answered, Bread and honey. Good, everyone sit down, the grandmother said. Now, Little Red Riding Hood, before we eat, I think you have something to say. Little Red Riding Hood said softly, Yes, I do, her grandmother asked. And what is it? Little Red Riding Hood said, I promise that I'll always do what Mommy says and never talk to strangers. Well said, the woodcutter told her. Good, let's eat, the grandmother said. Little Red Riding Hood and her grandmother and the woodcutter feasted on bread and honey, and from then on, 
Little Red Riding Hood was a very good girl. The end. For more stories, please subscribe to our channel, Little Readers.